I'm really excited to try out the Forks Over Knives cookbook and this is one of the recipes in there. Lucky Black Eyed Pea Stew. The ingredients are half a cup of black eyed peas soaked, but I'm using a can. One large carrot, one large beet, again I'm using a can. A quarter cup finely chopped parsley, a quarter teaspoon cumin seeds, toasted and ground, but I'm just gonna use the ground because that's what I have. A quarter teaspoon turmeric, a quarter teaspoon cayenne pepper, and it calls for something I've never heard of before, asafetida, <laughs> I don't know how to say it, um, but it's an eighth of a teaspoon in there. I think it's supposed to help bring out the cumin. And a quarter teaspoon salt if you choose to, and a half a teaspoon of fresh lime juice. First step is to combine the black eyed peas in a pot with three cups of water, which I might change out a little bit since I'm using canned peas, and cook over medium heat for 20 minutes. I'm gonna be real with you guys. This is the first time I've ever cooked with black eyed peas. But I really enjoyed them and I ate that lucky black eyed peas stew in Texas for the New Year. So I really wanted to try to recreate that. I'm gonna put, I'm gonna add two cups of water to start with. And turn it on medium heat. And comment below if you've cooked with black eyed peas before. Let me know how you like to eat them. Next step is to chop your carrots and your parsley. After about 20 minutes, I went ahead and added the beets and carrots for another 10 minutes. Next, I'm gonna go ahead and add the parsley and the turmeric, cayenne pepper, and cumin. So here's the three spices. Such pretty colors. And the parsley. And we're gonna let this simmer for about five minutes. It's smelling really good. And let's go ahead and add a little bit of salt. So I am placing this over some leftover rice that I had, but you can eat it by itself. You can put it over some salad, whatever you'd like. And we will finish up with a squirt of lime. Enjoy!